Well, good morning and welcome to worship today. My name is Pastor Chrissy Salser and myself, along with Pastor Jim Davis and interim pastor Jim Reitz, welcomes you. We are Servants United Parish. We have six congregations located um, in Dwight, Cornell, Shanoa, Anchor, Sibley, and Gibson City. We are glad you're joining us this morning for worship. Today we are um, celebrating the thank offering service, which is a time that uh, we honor the women of the church um, within our church and the ministries that they do. And uh, today, this year is also a special uh, year with that as the ELCA, our governing body has um, is celebrating 50 years of ordinating uh, women um, into the ministry, white women, and then 40 years for those of color and 10 years um, for those in extraordinary ministry. So we are glad you have joined us today. And uh, please uh, visit our website at www.servantsunitedparish.org. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the fountain of living water, the rock who gave us birth, our light and our salvation. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are clothed with God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us give thanks to the gracious gift for the gracious gift of baptism. Blessed are you, O God, maker and ruler of all things. Your voice thundered over the waters of creation. 
You water the mountains and sp send springs into the valleys to refresh and satisfy all living things. Through the waters of the flood, you carried those in the ark to safety. Through the sea, you led your people Israel from slavery to freedom. In the wilderness, you nourished them with water from the rock, and you brought them across the river Jordan to the promised land. By the baptism of his death and resurrection, your son Jesus has carried us to safety and freedom. The flood shall not overwhelm us, and the deep shall not swallow us up. For Christ has brought us over to the land of promise. He sends us to make disciples, baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit, wash away sin in the cleansing water, clothe the baptized with Christ, and claim your daughters and sons, no longer slave and free, no longer male and female, but one with all the baptized in Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. During this next song, I invite you to take some water and sprinkle it on yourself and mark yourself with the sign of the cross to remind yourself that God has blessed you, that God is with you, and that you are a beloved child of God. Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with you. Let us pray. O oh God of justice and love, you light our way through life with the words of your Son. Give us the light we need and awaken us to the needs of others through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. 
Amen. Beginning in the late 19th century, Lutheran women were given small bank offering boxes to place in a special location in their homes as a visible reminder of the blessings they had received. Women would add coins to those boxes almost daily as particular blessings were noted. From their use came the idea of an annual church service to celebrate their collection. And so the women of the congregation would come together for a thank offering worship service. The concept of thank offering celebrations dates back more than 100 years beyond Lutherans. The Episcopal church women held their first recorded thank offering service in 1889. And the World Thank Offering Service of the United Methodist Women has been a tradition for over 100 years. In the Lutheran tradition, the General Synod's Women, Home, and Foreign Missionary Society created their first thank offering service in 1889 to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the organization. At that first thank offering, $6,100 was collected. Today, women of the ELCA collect more than 1 million in thank offerings annually for the ministries and mission of our women's organization. Thank offerings show gratitude for God's blessings and give us an important and visible way to express that gratitude. It is a tradition grounded in our celebration of community and of meeting together to joyfully give thanks for what God has given us. Thank offerings have always been, and still are, our opportunity to say thank you to God in both significant and ordinary moments. In gratitude for all God has given us and with hope for all that is to come, please bring your thank offering with you to the next in-person worship service that you attend. You may also write a thank offering check and send it to the congregation of your choice. Let us pray. God of grace, you have showered us with gifts of grace and abundance, entrusting to us the ministries of women of the ELCA. Help us to grow in faith, affirm our gifts, support one another in our callings, engage in ministry and action, and promote healing and wholeness in the church, the society, and the world. Accept these gifts and our prayer that, nurtured by your word, filled with your spirit, and fed at your table, we may share with gladness all that you have shared with us until all creation is satisfied. Amen. <music> 